I'm here with the DartmouthSports.com Female Athlete of the Week, Emily Astorita, a junior on the volleyball team. First off, congrats so far this season. Thank you. This past weekend, the team opened IV play with a 3-2 win over co-defending champion Harvard, and you led both squads with 23 kills. Can you talk about that match and your nerves going into the fifth set, knowing you only have 15 points separating you from either a win or a loss? Um, going into the fifth set, we weren't really that nervous because we have put in so much work in practice and uh, in all of preseason so far. Um, and at the end of practice, we usually do we usually do a practice fifth set, like with ourselves when we're all fatigued and tired and. We practice uh, keeping up our intensity and our energy during those 15 points. And um, we've been working so hard the whole match, and our bench was so loud, and it was like just one of the most exciting matches. And so we really went into the fifth set just with a lot of energy and, in, and intention and intensity and just feel, feeling like we, we could do it, and we won. <laughs> How was it opening the season in California against big name teams like San Diego, TCU, and Pacific? Um, it was really exciting to play the big teams. Uh, they're very talented, and it's really cool to play teams that are outside of our league and that are um, that have a lot of big hitters and blockers like that. It was really interesting to try to score on them because. Their block is so big, and we have to try to find different ways to score. So that is something that's going to help us throughout the season with different ways of scoring. And um, also, uh, the speed of the game is so much faster when we play the big teams like that. And uh, it's, it's helpful to speed up the match so that we can practice that and just get used to it so we can play like that during every season. The team hosts Penn and Princeton this weekend before taking on Yale and Brown in lead the following weekend. How exciting is it to play at home two weekends in a row? It's really exciting. Um, I love playing at home. It's so much easier because traveling is, is a little it's a little hard. We have to go to class and stuff like that. But um, yeah, playing at home is going to be really fun. We're going to get a lot of fans. And... Um, I don't know, it's just we've been away a lot at the beginning of the season because we went to California, we went to Michigan, we went to Bryant on a Tuesday. And um, it's just, it's fun to play at home. It's going to be good. And also we're, it's homecoming when we play Yale and Brown, so hopefully we'll get a lot of fans at that match. Thanks and good luck this weekend. Thank you. I'm here now with the DartmouthSports.com Male Athlete of the Week, Stefan Cleveland, a senior goalkeeper on the men's soccer team. Congrats to you and the team so far this season. Thank you. This past weekend, Dartmouth had a 3-0 shutout of number 18 Hofstra, with you making four saves, earning your third shutout, and being named Ivy League Player of the Week. Talk about the importance of that win. I think it was incredibly important, especially after coming back from Seattle with two uh, very unfortunate losses. Uh, and going into Ivy League play next week. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game coming in, especially with them being ranked and having a good season so far. Um, and we knew that we could compete with them all along. Um, and then the fact that we were able to do it and then put an end to the night early, or right at the end of the game was, uh, was great for us. What goes through your head when someone is running directly towards you? And how do you feel when the action is all the way down the other side of the field and you can't celebrate with your teammates? I think... When someone's running directly at me, um, it's tough because you know it's a rush. It doesn't happen that often, but usually I have faith in my defenders to get back, at least get get a body on the man, um, and then all I'm thinking about is just getting set and you know going back to my fundamentals and trying to make the save. And then when the action's at the other end and we score, um, it's fantastic. You know I have one of the best seats on the field to watch it, um, 80 yards away, but you know right in line with the goal. Um, and then when we celebrate, it's awesome. It's great to see the crowd. Uh, great to see you know everybody you know celebrate together. Um, but at the same time, it's my job to defend, and so I'm right on to the next play immediately. On Saturday, the team opens Ivy play at home against Princeton, who shared the Ivy League title with you last year. Do the game plans change when conference play begins? Somewhat, just because you know these games are 
the Ivy League now. Um, but in the end, it's still just another 90 minutes. Um, last year, we had a great win in overtime. Uh, this year, you know, I know they lost some players, we lost some players, so it's two new teams going against each other. But I think that, you know, we have great confidence going in. They tied last night, went into overtime. So, you know, we're happy that, you know, we got the rest, the whole week to rest, get ready for the game. But at the end of the day, um, you know, every game is just another game. And we prepare for it just like, just like all the other ones. Thanks and good luck this weekend. Uh, thank you very much.